Hey dolls, another day, another vlog starting with me getting coffee. I'm meeting my friend. We're gonna have a coffee date, I guess, in our cars. We might go for a walk. We're gonna be careful. I know everybody's really over this though. I'm so over it. But yeah, I was just gonna um, see how everybody was. I had to take like two-ish weeks just to like have like I was like in not a good headspace I and I don't think it was because of all of this like it was like my own stuff like I'm trying to be like I have like my ideas for like YouTube and starting a blog and everything and even my Instagram like I'm just being like I'm overthinking everything I'm being a perfectionist and I'm just like holding myself back creatively. I just spilled coffee and you know I got baby wipes in the car. I get this lid back on, there we go. Um, but like, I don't know, I just feel, I feel a lot better now. I gave myself until like yesterday to like get back and started on things. Um. And so, like, I took, like, two weeks off. Like, I didn't wear makeup. I didn't do anything to my hair. Like, I just let it, like, rest. And I didn't tan. Um, and I actually kind of think that made things worse because I didn't feel like myself. Um, because, seriously, Sunday night, put tanner on. Yesterday, Monday morning, I woke up and I was like, I feel like myself. I gave my hair a blowout. Like, I felt so much better just, even before I put makeup on, just having, like, making it look like I had sun on my skin, you know, because this is fake, this is, um, and then just putting, like, a little bit of makeup on and, like, having my hair, like, I don't know, it really is, like, a mood booster, and I feel like a lot of people say that, but I don't care if people think that's vain or not, but I'm vain, so if I feel more like myself because I feel pretty, then I guess all is right in the world. Um, I am parked, I am not driving. Just sitting here, hanging out waiting for my friend but I'm really glad that the sun is out and yeah I have already been I went on like four walks yesterday because the sun was out yesterday it's about to get rainy again which I'm really sad about but I don't know and I've been wearing the same outfit for almost an entire week if I'm being completely honest I've washed it and it's my sister's completely. And every time she sees me in it, she's like, how many times can you wear the same outfit? And I'm like, this is the comfiest thing ever. Like, these are, do you like this OOTD? These Adidas leggings with this cropped Nike sweatshirt, which is actually like a nude color, which normally I'm not into, but she got this in like an oversized size and I love it. And so I've just been wearing it and I literally ordered myself this in black. Um, from Poshmark so I'm waiting for that to come in it's funny like all the online shopping we've all been doing and everything like my friends here hey she's so cute um but yeah we gonna go for a walk but what was I saying I remembered what I was gonna say after um my friend showed up I have been online shopping so much um as I feel like everyone else has but like everything's delayed so it's like I don't know it's like Christmas like every day like is it gonna come today um but my Tory Burch Miller flat or flat sandals should be here today and that's exciting um and it, I feel like uh I've ordered a bunch of stuff for like wedding stuff. Wedding planning is like, I mean, I'm obviously as involved as possible. I'm actually a lot more like chill than I thought I would be, at least like thus far, it's five months out. And we have just about every big detail planned out. Um, I still have to find bridesmaids dresses, but I've got our flowers ordered and I don't know, I'm just like really chill. And like, I'm chill too in the fact that like I, don't care about save the dates or invitations 
being paper like it's all online which I feel like is like that's everyone's advice is that that was their biggest waste of money was sending out like fancy paper ones so we're designing it exactly how we want um and just sending it out like in emails and we have a wedding website and it's like so where everyone will RSVP and everything so I mean it makes the most sense that it's all online anyways and then that way we can have the fanciest looking thing and it's not costing us anything so if that's important to you though that's cool but also thought um whether you're gonna have a wedding website or not sending them out online is gonna save you money and then if you still want the physical copy for like yourself like just for your memories or whatever which I completely understand I will want that you can print it out you can get the you can get one real one made if you want you know <laughs> um so yeah but my biggest thing was like dress venue photographer and oh my god I've been so blessed with my photographer like I've loved her style for years and didn't know if she did weddings or not. And now she's like one of my best friends, honestly. And the stupid coronavirus, I want to go on a girl date with her like ASAP. But I miss you, Brandy. Yeah, if you, oh, we're moving. Um, if you wanna see her work, go to my Instagram or go to hers. It's Brandy Christina. And she has created a new one as well I um maybe I need to write it down below but it's I think evoke by Brandy if I just butchered that I'm really sorry Brandy I'll just cut this part out um but I will leave that somewhere but yeah she's fabulous and it's turned into a friendship and that's amazing and we have a videographer and she's amazing and just adorable and so cute and I'm so excited and also I'm so excited for the freaking honeymoon like I think I'm equally excited about that which actually we're now unless things change because of all of the coronavirus unfortunately we were going to sorry that this is real bouncy we were supposed to do Disney and go to Florida and like hang out at the beach and stuff but Disney just said that they're not going to be open until January and the wedding is in October. But as my positive bubbly self was sad for like 30 seconds, let myself cry about it. And then I was like, we'll have two honeymoons. So it's fine. It's good. It's great. Um, and then the celebration just continues for the rest of our life after our second honeymoon. But also I feel like that's like exactly how it was supposed to be feel like we were meant to have two honeymoons because who am I? The most extra queen ever. If you have a human being near you um, and you're curious about what I get, I get the snowy mocha. This is the 20 ounce um, iced snowy mocha with macadamia nut milk. One of the cute baristas that works here was like, you should try it and it's killer. It's amazing. Um, and then I get light ice, obviously. And yeah, that's it. I think the snowy mocha is just like a white chocolate situation, but um, I have this whole plan. Sorry, I don't know where I left off when my friend got here, but I have um, an appointment, my hair appointment Saturday, and I think it's going to get canceled. And I'm kind of bummed because like my hair has been like, a source of my like I'm letting it hold me back I thought it was like thinning and all this stuff and like I just want it long and I have hair extensions that I'm gonna get to like get matched to it and everything and I was just been like so excited and I've already had to like reschedule once and I'm just not thrilled so I'm just ready to have really stupid long hair and have it be thick and luscious my hair inspiration, not to mention my life inspiration, is Emily Gemma. She has the cutest clothes, the cutest freaking house. Oh my gosh, but I love her hair. Anyways, I hope everybody else is doing amazing right now. I, this is just me talking in my car, some of my favorite things. This is honestly therapy, just like hanging out and 
talking to all the dolls out there. But yeah, I'll see you later. Bye.